Let us pray. Jesus of Nazareth, who were you? And who are you? Peasant from Galilee, wandering rabbi, in tune with the Spirit, healer of bodies and of minds and souls, who were you? And who are you? Spiritual teacher who called fishermen and tax collectors and others to follow you and who led them to Jerusalem where you died on a Roman cross. Who were you? And who are you? Risen Lord Jesus, whom the grave could not hold and who for forty days appeared to your followers before ascending to be with God, then sending your Spirit to empower them to preach your message. Who are you? And who are you for us today? Jesus of Nazareth, peasant from Galilee and wandering rabbi, risen Lord Jesus Christ, who in the beginning was the Word, the Word which was with God and the Word which was God. We come before you in awe and wonder. For we cannot comprehend the fullness and the mystery of who you were and of who you are. We ask you to lead us anew as we join with the writer of the Gospel of John who invites us to see something more of who you were and even more of who you are as living, loving Lord. Be with us, Lord Jesus, as we go from our worship into the week that lies ahead. Help us to reflect on stories from the Bible which we know and love. And help us to see these stories not just as events which happened a long time ago, but also as signs of what you are still doing today. As you once spoke peace, to those who were troubled, may we still hear your words of peace today when we are troubled. And may we also speak peace to others, that they too might know comfort. And now in our prayers we hold before God those who are sad, or worried, or upset, those who are downhearted. Let us hold them before God in faith and love. And let us also listen in our hearts for any nudge or gentle whisper of what we might do to help them. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray for our churches, the churches of Cowie, Clean and Bannockburn Allen, and the churches of others who are joining us from elsewhere. Let us pray that we might not be or become insular groups concerned only that our churches might survive, but rather that we might be followers of the risen Jesus and filled with the overflowing life and energy of his Holy Spirit, so that just as Jesus was present to men and women in synagogues and marketplaces, in fishermen's boats, at tax collector stalls and among people who had messed up and those who were struggling. So in us and through us may the Spirit also be present in Cowie, Plain, Bannockburn and wherever we are. And if it is hard to believe that any of that could be possible today, let us ask God to show us let us dare to ask God to infuse us with enthusiasm and with opportunities to still be his witnesses today. Let us pray that now, each in our own way, in the quietness. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Hear all our prayers. In Jesus' name. Amen. Worship for the churches of Cowie, Clean and Bannockburn Allen and for the communities of Cowie, Clean and Bannockburn and for all friends who are joining us from elsewhere will be back online next week when we will be going to a wedding. The wedding at Cana. Until then, I leave you with a blessing. Whether your path this week leads through sunshine or shadow, may you know that the light shines in the darkness and that the risen Jesus is with you. May God's love, God's strength and God's peace be with each one of you and all those whom you love today, tomorrow and every tomorrow forevermore. Amen.